Hello everyone. This video is going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to find probabilities from a table. So on this sheet, we have taken our sacrifice hits data that we collected in our frequency table from here. Here we just collected the um, number of bunts from 0 to 3, 3 to 7, or 4 to 7, um, 8 to 11, and 12 to 15 for all of the baseball teams. And in this sheet, we've split them up into the American League teams and the National League teams. So what we're gonna do is we wanna figure out what are the percentages here? What's the probability? So if I asked, you know, what's the probability of American League teams who had up to three sacrifice hits? That's what I'm looking for here. So to start, we're gonna find our totals. I'm gonna put total there and total up here. So what we need to do for that is we can just use our auto sum, which is right here. It's this little funky um, epsilon. And all you do is click it and it will put your formula in for you. If you want to just put the formula in for this data, we have sum and then B2 through B5 and hit return. And you can do that um, five more times or you can just drag it across. And this makes sense where we have 15 here and 15 here, because there's 15 teams in each league for a total of, let me just do that. Right now we have zero because we're going down. So here we want to do the same thing. We want to use that auto sum button up above. We get B2 through C2, hit enter. And again, you can do that multiple times or you could type in the formula if you want. So sum B2, C2 but then just drag it down. And you'll see that we get 30 in our total. So looking at this, we can see that if I randomly picked a team, um, there were 15 out of 30 that had up to three sacrifice hits. So right there, that should tell you that's 50%. But we don't wanna actually look at it um, with numbers. We wanna find percents. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy and paste our table, we really only care about the labels, but we're just gonna do that down here. We're gonna get rid of our data. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we have both on one screen, there we go. And here we're gonna change it from total to probability. Same up here. All right. So here's what we need to do. To come up with a probability, you take your amount, your number, and divide it by the total. So our total is 30, because we have 30 teams and 30 counts. So we're going to hit equals, and we're going to take B2, because we had eight sacrifice hit, eight teams that had between one and three, or up to three sacrifice hits. And we're going to divide it by that 30, because that's going to give us our probability. Now we don't want that, we're going to drag these um, formulas, and we don't want that D6 to change because it's always gonna be 30 for our total. So if you've got, um, depending on what type of a laptop you have, you can either just hit F4 or you can hit function F4, and it should automatically um, absolute reference that, putting those dollar signs in there. So those two dollar signs mean it means that it is not going to change from D6. And hit enter, and we'll see that about 26 27-ish percent of our teams from the American League had up to three um, had up to three sacrifice hits. So 26% of our total um, teams were from the American League and had up to three. So we're just going to fill that down, and we're actually going to fill it across as well. All right, so now we want our probability and I'm going to put probability totals. And we'll wrap that just to make it look nicer. So again, we're going to sum these. And we'll just drag it all the way over. Same thing up here. And we're going to drag this all the way down. All right. 
So now we've got our totals. So what does all of this mean? All right. So if we look at these, we're going to see that if I want to know what percent of the teams in the MLB had less than three bunts or sacrifice hits, you would look and you'd say, okay, up to three, we're looking at the whole league. So we want the total. So that means that half of them, if I, excuse me, if I randomly chose a baseball team, there's a 50% chance or a 0.5 probability that it's going to have less than or up to three. So less than four um, sacrifice hits throughout the season. Um, same thing with three to seven, eight to uh, 11 and 12 to 15. If I asked, if I randomly selected a baseball team, what's the probability that it will be from the American League? Well, 0.5, 50%. There's two parts, so 50%. Um, same thing for the National League. Um, if I asked, okay, what about if I want to know what's the probability that a team had up to seven? Well, that would be a cumulative probability. So let's do that. And you're gonna find the cumulative probability just like we found the cumulative frequency before. So you're gonna hit equals and you're gonna start with just D9. And then we're going to add our new probability, oops, yeah, D10 to our what came before. And then we're gonna drag it down. We don't need that. So if I asked, okay, what's the probability that um, we would have less than or seven or less, 8.83 or 83%. If I asked about 11 or less, 0.93 or 93%. And then 15 or less, it would be all of them. So that's how that cumulative probability works. Um, what if I asked, what's the probability that a randomly selected team would have between three and seven? Well, the probability of having three to seven, or sorry, three to 11. Three to seven is 0.33 repeated. Eight to 11 is 0.1. So if we wanna know from three to 11, we just add those together to get 0.43, 43 repeated or 43.3%. Um, what if I asked, what's the probability that it was more than 12 from the National League? So we're looking at more than 12 and from the National League, right there. It's this box right here, which is 0 0.033 or about 3.3%. Uh, the last type we'll look at is what if, I wanna know if it was three, it would be three to seven or not and, or from the American League. So I want to know, again, what is the probability that a randomly selo selected um, baseball team would be from, would have um, sacrifice hits of three to seven and be from the American League? So we look at it and we say, okay, well, we've got three to seven, total probability is 0.33, and then we've got the American League as well. So let's look at this. If you're in the American League, you have a 50% chance of being chosen. Then, so we've already used these four, but then we also need to take into account the three to seven. Well, we don't wanna just add the 0.3 because we've already added the 0.133. So all we have to do is add that 0.2. So you should find that if you randomly select a baseball team, you have a 0.7, so 0.5 plus 0.2, so 0.7 or 70% of choosing either the American League or three to seven, or three to seven or the American League. So that's how you can use Excel to create yourself a probability table um, and then use it to answer specific questions.